Welcome to Vivian and Art. It's really amazing to see all of you here. Um, as many of you know, this is only our second exhibition after a huge rebrand, reimagining, and um, we're really excited that it's a solo exhibition with Tyler Brightfield. He went to OCAT and did his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree and went on to get a master's degree at the Chelsea College of Art in London um, and actually spent some time teaching drawing at Tate. If you have an opportunity to look at the work, his skill is incredibly refined. Um, there aren't that many artists diving into this kind of laborious practice these days in contemporary art. Um, and it's one of the things that really sets Tyler apart. She's a fictional character who functions as the access point for a large ongoing project, in this case here, of 20 etchings, and then in other parts of the gallery, drawings that pertain to a second series of also 20 etchings. <laughs> this series is a broad metaphor, coming of age story, or at least that's how I see it. I mean, this, this story for me is about the desire to share something exciting with someone you care about and then having their interpretation alter what you're excited by and therefore kind of reject that other party's interpretation and kind of be by yourself. There's something about etching where it, like every medium wants something, right? Like every, every tool wants to be something, like a fast car wants to go fast and it's happy when it does it and a, a beagle wants to smell things and oil paint wants to paint skin and jewelry and feathers and textures and etchings want to make really deep lines that are exciting because of the contrast because of that insane black and they also the the, the process encourages some kind of nighttime feeling and I, that's suitable for the kind of oneric quality here like if you think about obviously goya but i mean almost everyone even like political satirists you know turn of the century satirists, their, their stuff ends up feeling like it's coming out of the subconscious. And I think, I actually suspect that a lot of etchings are made at night where private stuff seems to come out of artists more easily. I'm not sure. I mean, at this point, that's no longer true for me, but I think, I think that that's probably part of it. But also, I mean, there's no such thing as a black, like an etching black, you know? I think that, that those are the, the most, like, sensuous and exciting and deep blacks in art, you know, I really like them. And, uh, and I think that, that that's good for a kind of dreamy world. I don't know how many people in the room have ever even seen a silver point drawing, okay, yeah. which is what all of these really light drawings are that you might think at first glance are graphite. So could you just briefly talk about that process? Sure. So silver point is uh, started in the 12th century and it was replaced by graphite. Um, it's, it's what it sounds like, which is a pointed piece of silver. Um, it, sometimes it's metal point. I mean, like there's copper, gold, um, silver, and brass in my drawings. And they all have very, very, very subtle tonal differences. A huge distinction between it and other media is that the other drawing media like it, especially graphite, is that it doesn't smudge. So for example, if this were a pencil drawing, I could go like that and really mess it up. But uh, that nothing would happen there. I mean, it goes on. And the reason it goes on is because you prepare a sheet of paper with a ground made out of bone and, in my case, marble dust and stuff like that. And then when you trace the, 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 the metal over it, it, it doesn't incise the ground, but it, it leaves like a, a little trace, like a snail, you know? Or, you know, you could do the same thing with a key on a white wall or, um, you know, a coin. Um, and then it, after, after a little while, it oxidizes and, and starts bouncing light inside it, similarly to oil paint, actually. And it, it makes a very delicate, beautiful, subtle medium. It's not in common use now, and I kind of like that about it, too, just for novel reasons, yeah. And I, also, it's just really beautiful. I mean, these drawings are, like, are going to look a little more beautiful or, you know, they're gonna look a little better. I don't mean to compliment myself. They'll look better. Um, 
in a year because they'll be totally oxidized then. And right now, because I just finished all of these for the show, they're slightly different color than they will. And later on, they take on a glassy quality, which I really like. Thank you so much, everyone who's come out uh, to take part in the ceremony tonight. Please enjoy the work. Please enjoy Tyler. Um, what a great guy to talk to. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. I am so appreciative. Even that you're better one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I, part of why we had this conversation is because this is his comfort and it brings it out in him. Um, so please engage him, ask him your questions, and enjoy the work. Thank you. Thank you.